Hello again, Gateway students, and welcome to another edition of www.sketchup.com free. Today's lesson, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to make the experimental airplane using SketchUp free. This video assumes you can navigate to the free version of SketchUp. Here it is, SketchUp for the web. Launch. And there's your familiar logo. And what you do to begin is to create new simple template feet in inches. Immediately go to the right and select model info tab and select decimals. Um, you may want to change the snap interval to point zero zero one. And select enter to lock it in. I'm going to use this clipboard, the scenes tab to select parallel projection and then put it in top view and then select this little line here, which is the five foot eight lady and hit the delete key to remove her. And then I'm going to use the pencil tool to first create a central axis line, which is going to be about 12 inches. So you can see down in the bottom right where it says length, I'm just going to type 12 and then enter. And that makes my central axis line 12 inches. And while the pencil is still attached, I'm going to actually try to create a little rocket engine on the back of this plane by making the little cone. And then I'm going to make a little short stub here. This is actually that very back of the engine. Now that I've got that particular shape there, I'm going to use the second tool, the second arc tool down and select up here and down at the front of this line, which is the front of my fuselage. And just create a little bit of an arc there. If you have a shape that looks like this, you're ready to proceed. Okay, now I'm going to put it in front view and draw a circle, which will be the circle I use for, with the follow me tool. So I'm gonna zoom in here on my profile and it's in the front view. So I'm selecting the origin in the very outside of my profile, click. And then I'm gonna use this orbit tool to, to verify that I've done it right. If it looks like this, you've done it right. You got the profile and you got the follow me circle that you're gonna use to make this thing, revolve this thing into a fuselage. So now, you go to the follow me tool, but the second tool down under that is the follow me tool. Okay, and then I click this profile. Make sure you see the little dots. Click. And then select right here at the circle and the intersection of the circle and the red axis. And then you create a, a nice revolution for me. Use this select tool to select the outside ring of the circle and hit the delete key to remove that whole entire disk. And now I'm just going to orbit around and give you an idea of what I'm talking about. There's the back end of my, that's the jet engine at the back of the plane. <clears throat> it's more, more or less a rocket. Okay. Now I'm going to look at it again from top view and zoom well out and leave this fuselage very much off to the right side. I'm going to use the line tool again to, to eyeball a wing and the wings are usually in a swept back position and make sure you select it here. Now, if you have this profile, I want you to select the whole thing and go control C, control V and move that well over to the side. Do not get these close together. Keep them well apart, your left and your right. Now, this is going to flip over. So you want to right click on it and flip along red dimension. There you go. And then you use the move tool and right, select the front end point on there and select it and bring it over until it snaps together with the other half of the wing. And then I want you to use the erase tool and just erase that center line out from underneath there. So you see you have the shape of the wing and you can again use this orbit tool to orbit a little bit and use the push pull tool to select and push it up and enter a number of like 0.15 and hit the enter key. That gives you a good thin wing. Okay. Now I'm going to look at this from the left side. See left side with this little window on it and make sure that the height of the wing is about right. And then I'm going to, it looks about right. So then I'm going to use a select tool to select the entire wing with that marquee and use the move tool to grab it and just move it directly to the side and so that 
and center it in my plane right there. Now it looks like it might have moved up, which is interesting, and I'm going to try to move it down. There we go. So there we go. So as you can see, I moved the wing down a bit. I have it centered. You can also try to bring it forward if you'd like or position it how you like. But once you get this wing on top of the fuselage, it could become tricky. It may start to distort. In that event, you have to go control C. I mean, I'm sorry, control Z, control Z to, to go backwards until you get the wing off to the side again and then try to move it into position very carefully. So now I'm going to look at it from right view and I'm actually going to make the tail section. So here I am. And well above the airplane, I'm going to make a, a, a tail section that swept back in a bit of a triangular section shape like this, much like a rocket fin. And then use the orbit tool and use the push-pull tool to make it about 0.1, very thin, 0.1, and then use the enter key. There. Okay. <clears throat> And again, top view. Um, the reason for setting this precision snap interval to 001 is so that when you move it, it'll sh try to try to get, um, actually, Control-Z. What I'm going to do is select it from the side, see? So I want to select the entire, the entire wing from the right view. Use the Move tool. Again, to move this over just a little bit and get it centered. That's fairly well close. And then you can look at it from the right side and bring it in like that. Top view. Okay. So, so far, so good. There's what I have so far. My X plane. All right. So back to the top view. And I'm actually going to draw the tail now. And I'm going to use the same method again. Make sure you're... Fuselage and wings are off to the right and use the line tool to draw the center line. And then usually even the horizontal stabilizer at the back of the plane has a shape like that. And then I'm going to use the select tool to select. Control C, Control V, place it here, right click, flip along, red direction and use the move tool to move it in and snap it into position. Use the eraser tool to erase that, erase that. Use the orbit tool a little bit and the push pull tool to stretch point one, enter. And from top view, I'm gonna select it. Maybe from left view, you can use the move tool to move it up into position and then top view move that into position and look at it again from right view it seems a little high so bring it down there top view all right this is what i have so far and the final step will be to make the cockpit so again Go return to top view. Use the pan tool, move your plane off to the side. You're going to make a little central axis here. Use the arc tool, it's the second tool down, to make a small arc like so. Um, if you look at it from front view, you should see your little profile here, and you make a circle. Remember, zoom white right in. Click here, click the outside. You can use the orbit tool to verify you've done it right. Use the follow me tool. Remember, select your profile, select. Play with it a little bit. But you get that to orbit around, and you right click on this and hit the delete key, let's say. All right. Now you can look at it from top view. Now you look at it from left view. Actually, top view, because I want to select it, select it, then left view, and use the move tool to position it more forward and maybe even use the rotate tool. 
click here, click here, and rotate a bit like that. Top view. And then you can use the move tool to move it into position like this. All right. Oops. I hit escape. There we go. Now I can use the orbit tool and verify what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's the look I was looking for. Okay, now that you've completed that, I want you to uh, go to the materials. Often I select metals to create a nice metal look for this airplane. I'm selecting things like this. Uh, for the cockpit, usually maybe a water or a glass, but maybe a water. Select it and then select the cockpit. You can go back to the metals. Try different materials if you want. It's fine. And then before you turn in your final image, I want you to go back to the scenes tab, put it in perspective, and then don't forget, zoom in. Don't get alarmed or anything. Zoom in. There's a nice angle. And then go back to the display tab. It looks like these little glasses. Make sure you turn off axes. And then you can orbit it. And you do get a horizon line there. It looks like he's in the sky. And you can use the pan tool to pull him down. Zoom in. Save. And make sure you save it in your SketchUp folder. Uh, this is called X Plane 2. I'm saving here with that blue Save button. It says Saving right there. And now I'm going to use these three lines to export PNG image. Don't forget to click the Export as PNG button. There. The X-Plane 2 PNG is in my downloads folder, and I'm going to verify that it's in my downloads folder, which is this. There's my X-Plane 2. That is the image that you're going to want to turn in. If you do this correctly, it will be extraordinary. So good luck.